Hey guys, welcome back to Big Wind Sailing. Um, in my sister's house right now. I uh, did go home for the weekend. I uh, went to see Brett Michaels play. One of my friends sang the national anthem for him, so I got a VIP passes. I'll show you some of that footage. It was pretty cool. Uh, Brett Michaels, for all you youngins, uh, he was the lead singer of Poison. It was pretty cool. <laughs> So today, right now, I'm just uh, re-registering the MSI number and under my name. So I'm going to this website right here, boat.us. Um, I haven't really figured out where to go yet, but uh, I'll let you know when I figure it out. So I just transfer, change the name from the old owner, old owners to mine. And then I also just finished the Coast Guard registration, and it's kind of a pain. Uh, it's not that bad if I'm just transferring it, but just finding the right forms and everything like that is a pain in the neck. Coast Guard does not make it easy. There's uh, services that charge like 450 bucks, and if you do it by yourself, it's only $92. So if you guys want any info on how to do that or what forms you need, um, leave a comment. Just want to give a shout out to my sister for letting me stay at her house while I complete the boat projects. I drive to and from her house about three times a week. It's 90 minutes each way. A lot of driving and a lot of gas, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, just got to FL Trippin' Sons Marina. Let's go check out, out the progress on the boat. Adios. Hey guys, I'm at the garage. Let's check out the progress on the boat. Done the crack yet. But I believe the cut of span has been bad. Let's see if there's a new bearing right here. Mm, probably something. Oh yeah, new bearing is actually in there. And it's new also, so that's cool. No more shaking. Alright, great. Alright, back on my boat in the shop. So there you replace the cutlass sparing, it's gotta do the crack. And I'm gonna go in here and measure Ford V berth for a new mattress. Alright guys, I've been looking around in here. I'm gonna start measuring the cushions to see if I can get the films. Yeah, I probably don't want to see that anyway. Morning guys, it's Thursday morning, 7 a.m. drinking some coffee and going over some expenses to get the boat ready. Um, as anybody knows when you buy a boat, um, the price is just the first step. You're probably going to spend at least another 20% more. Um, and if you get a cheap boat like me, it's almost going to be half the price you're, gonna be sp you're spending on fixing it up. So uh, this is what I got right now. Let's see if you, I don't know if you can see this. But we got gauges, there's an oil gauge and um, temperature gauge you need to replace, that's 400 bucks. Uh, the crack on the bottom of the keel is 300, cutlass is another 300, oil change 150, bilge pumps I need probably two bilge pumps maybe, I'm saying 400, probably not that much. Autopilot's going to be 1500 to 2000, dinghy with an outboard motor probably around 2500, EPIRB. Uh, probably four or five hundred AIS, probably around eight hundred, and what was that? Oh, mattress. Well, the, the mattress for the front V berth is going to be about eight hundred thousand. Um, so that's eighty-three fifty right there, man, and that's uh, almost half the price of the boat I paid. So as you can see, it's not cheap once you uh, pay for the boat itself. All right. I'll keep. I'll, I'll make an official list after I finish everything on what it actual costs. So those are conservative numbers. All right. Talk to you later. All right, guys. A little update. Um, the yard's still working on um, the the crack in the keel. 
I'm going to be house sitting for a friend for like three or four days, so I'm not going to probably video that much. I'm going to start buying things for the boat, like autopilot, AIS, solar panels, um, you name it. Probably about almost 10 grand worth of stuff. Dinghy, outboard, um, binoculars, just stuff like that. And, you know, I don't even have any plates or pans or dishes or anything for the boat, so... Yeah, I'm going to do that all this week and start ordering stuff on Amazon. Get use of that Prime stuff. All right. Um, that's it. Uh, have a good weekend. I'll check in in a couple of days. Bye. Hey, guys. Welcome back. And it's an exciting day. The boat is back in the water after repairs. Take a look. Yeah, buddy. Pretty fired up. It's a great night, or a great night. It's a great day here in uh, Westport, Massachusetts. About 70 degrees. I slept on the boat last night, a little chilly. Uh, still think I live in Texas. I got shorts and t-shirt on. So yeah, I might have to get some more clothes or some better blankets. Anyway, on the agenda today, and I say anyway way too much. So on the agenda today, we've got power wash, an attempt to put up the sails and the bimini. Let's do this. All right, guys, I finished power washing this morning. I took a little nap because my back's a little bit fired up right now. God, I hope this bat doesn't keep me from doing stuff. Anyway, I'll show you how clean this thing is. Not too shabby. A lot better. Go up front here. And this thing is really wide. Um, got tons of room. Up here I'm going to have a... Uh, a little hammock would be awesome. There's a general. I don't know if I could put it on that though. It's a lot bigger in real life. Okay, that's what she said. Ha, just kidding. Um, Alright, maybe the marina guys are taking boats out, and I'm like the only one that's not going out of the water. Everybody's going out. Um, yacht club over there. Pretty nice. Beautiful day out here. On you last night, I was a little cold. I uh, only had shorts and it got down to like 52. And of course, I don't have heat or AC. Yeah. All right, now to try to get somebody to help me to put the sails on. I'll try to film it too. Bye. Good morning, people, or should I say good afternoon? Um, Saturday, been on the boat for a couple of days now, getting some stuff done. Made a Walmart run, got a whole bunch of good stuff. Uh, Stanley Spotlight, uh, some pots and pans, paper towels, Mr. Coffee, some Dunkin' Donuts. And I uh, got everything set up here, man. It smells awesome in here now. I got this stuff called, what is it called? Bilge Bully. This stuff is the bomb, man. That stuff's good. If you ever have a smelly bilge or a smelly something else, get it. Um, I'm just uh, rigging the main sheet right now. Um, I don't think it's the right. I don't think I did it right, but and also I don't have the right line, so I'm trying to figure out where the right line is. So this right here is the main sheet. It's not supposed to be crossed over like that, so I just need to rerun that. But yeah, um, it's hard to find uh, all the paperwork to how this thing's rigged up because it's like kind of. I mean. I've never rigged a boat before, so uh, it's all new to me. All right, just checking in. Oh, I also did laundry in, my, in the marina. The first time I've ever used a laundromat in probably 20 years since the military. And uh, prices have gone up. It's uh, $2 a load. 
used to be, last time I used it was 50 cents. Jesus H. Christ, what's going on here? But anyway, everybody's here uh, on the weekend uh, getting their boats out of the water because it's, you know, going to be winter here in Massachusetts soon. So I got to hurry up, find a dinghy, get the hell out of here, and go south. And that's it. Pretty nice little area though. Check it out. Hoping to get the sails up tomorrow. It's only going to be five knots of wind, so it's pretty good. What do we got now? We got uh, seven. It was like 25 when I woke up this morning. Crap. Anyway, that's it. Check back later. What's up, guys? Just chilling out, listening to some country. I'm on shore power now. Got a lot of good stuff done today. I'm going to go officially put up the American flag, guys. Just a young kid scared Living on his own floor Hopefully I still have a hold around here <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit my head on this thing eventually Um, there it is There we go Yeah! Alright Oh, glory flying in the back of the boat now, yeah, buddy. And it's a rainy day here in Westport, Massachusetts. I'm under the the bimini I just put on yesterday. It took me all, uh, it took me like three, no, maybe two hours to get this thing on. It was kind of a pain in the neck, but uh, my other boats um, kind of used to doing them, but definitely could use another hand. Anyway, here's uh, the helm. I can't really. I don't have a wide angle here, but anyway, nice and rainy, and I am staying dry. <laughs> so you guys need to come visit, man. This is pretty cool. You go camping. All right, adios. Um, also, notice since it's raining out, I have a couple of leaks to fix. Um, one right down there, and then there's a cup right there. So it's pretty much just the hatches, um, and there's another one in the head. Let's see, you can see that down there. So, yep, I just gotta fix a couple more things, but it shouldn't be that bad. That's it, I'll check back later. All right, guys, I finally finished putting together the little dinette area. It was a mess, I had to get all the sails out and bimini out before I could put this in, but I can't really see it that good, but it's pretty sweet. Um, you can sit down, probably have like one, two, three, four, five, six or seven people here and just sit around at this table. It's pretty cool. And then uh, you got another two over there that comes into a bed. And then there's another two people. We call this the coffin locker down in there. Two people and then another one could sleep with a little kick and sleep on this bench right here. So this can sleep eight. I mean, not bad. So come on visit. This, uh, this sleeps at least two. You could probably fit three in there. All right, guys. Getting stuff done later. Hey guys, end of the week here. It's been raining all week. Uh, got a lot done before the rain, but it's rained for two days and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to fly the drone over the marina again, get some good shots and uh, see what you guys think. But uh, so I put the bimini on and got the sails up, got the sail bag on, uh, ordered a, an anchor, a new anchor. What else did I do? Um, ordered some lines, ordered some spare parts for the engine, ordered, um, I can't remember. Anyway, here is the boat. It's pretty good right now.
Thanks for watching this episode of Big Wind Sailing. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out. Thank you very much. And check out my apparel on BigWindSailing.com. Goodbye. Till next time.